After years of hearing about Ashes of Creation's hybrid combat system and getting small teases about how it works in different showcases, we finally have our best look yet thanks to the fighter archetype that was just revealed to us in the March developers update. The way Ashes of Creation has always envisioned this hybrid system is you have two cameras, one called the action camera which enables a reticle on the screen and has a camera angle tied to the mouse movement while auto attacks are synced with the left mouse button. This also allows you to soft or hard lock onto targets around you. The second camera is the tab camera which puts you in a more traditional tab targeting setup where you can then tab through selected targets and have your attacks take a more auto aim approach while still being able to dish out that auto attack with the Q key. For abilities, it was originally stated that you could choose to spec into tab abilities or action abilities and have up to a certain percentage of each on your action bar, really having you lean more one way or the other in your combat choice depending on your playstyle. And while you are still specking into abilities currently and having the choice on what goes on your action bar, it seems they aren't really distinguishing those abilities between the two stances anymore. Some of you may be thinking that this is a bit crazy, you didn't see any hybrid combat, you just saw tab target, and at no point did Intrepid specifically call out this hybrid combat system. But to really notice, you had to look close at the abilities and so see the tooltip text and see what was going on with the ability. Steven even stated at the end of the fighter showcase that the fighter currently has four to five single target tab abilities and the remaining are either multi-target slash aimed or self-casting buffs. Which those numbers pretty much add up to the number of abilities I counted that showcase single tab or action. Those action abilities include Maim, which performs a powerful melee strike in a short forward cone, dealing physical damage to all targets hit. Whirlwind, which deals physical damage to all enemies around the caster with each spin while channeled, increasing the spin rate the longer it is channeled. This ability isn't a lock in place either, and the player can choose where to move around the battlefield. Cataclysm, which deals heavy damage and applies shake into all enemies in a large area in front of you, lunging assault which has you lunge in a direction a short distance and perform an upward swing upon arrival, and last, leap strike which has you leap to a target location that you place on the ground and deal damage around you. All five of these abilities I would consider action combat. They each give the player directional control of the location they are being hit, and they aren't automatically channeled towards the target due to tab or auto targeting. Each one of them aims in the direction you are facing or the direction you choose. And on top of these abilities, if you notice halfway through, Steven turns on the action combat camera, which is something we haven't seen much of in a while, allowing his auto attacks to be hit with the mouse button as you would in any other action combat game. Seeing melee combat now really, in a way, puts the final piece of the puzzle into place. At least for the moment. Combat isn't finished, it's not perfect, and it will continue to get refined as we go, based off player feedback which you can provide more of for the fighter, specifically over on the Ashes of Creation forums. But it's really looking good for what is considered early Alpha 2. I personally think it looks great. It stands up well next to the Ranger, which I thought looked phenomenal, and the Cleric and the Mage, which also had some pretty good showcases as well. Hopefully the Rogue will also look this good while still having its own unique feel and not feeling too much like just another melee class that kind of fits that fighter role. Speaking of unique feels though, my biggest disappointment of this showcase Case was the fact that we only saw one weapon with an archetype that has a subclass called the Weapon Master. The two-handed sword looked great, and it seemed to swing a bit more like a sword with more weight in it this time around, and the combat seemed less floaty than it had almost two years ago when we first saw it, but it would be a lot better comparison if Intrepid showed us some other weapon types being wielded by this class, throwing a melee staff or some dual-wielding swords to really show us that these weapons truly each have their own unique feel. Combat, as I've said many times before, is one of the most important features any MMORPG can focus on, and something that can truly have devastating impact on the game if done bad. Thankfully though, it appears that we won't have to worry about that. While not everyone will like Ashes of Creation's combat, there is a big divide. Some people hate action, some people hate tab, and some people will hate this hybrid mix-up that Intrepid is giving us. But it will continue to get refined through the next years of development, up until the launch of the game, where we will hopefully see it in peak form. Obviously, to really feel out the combo, we would have to jump in and play it. 
But I will give huge props to the Intrepid team because they are continuing to show that they truly listen to player feedback as this fighter looks 100% better than what was last shown two years ago in the Melee Combat Showcase. And you can really see the progress throughout the entire showcase, not only with the fighter, but with the world itself. Last time we saw Ogunbane Keep, the NPCs didn't feel real, they all kind of just stood there in random clusters and attacked when aggroed. This time around though, although it's a different group of NPCs due to the story arc, they they felt like they made this place their home. As they had some set auto pass, they would react and investigate players as players got closer to them, which we had seen before with the spiders in the Cyclops showcase, but overall it just felt more like the game was actually in a more playable state and truly coming together, which it really should be getting this close to Alpha 2. This month again just showed us how far Ashes of Creation has come, and I'm more than ready to jump into Alpha 2 and get my hands on that fighter archetype.